Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we got a haul slash unboxing slash review slash look through of series 21 of Lego CMFs. What does CMF stand for? Custom minifigures. Oh. I believe. Who knew? Or it might collectible minifigures. Sorry, collectible minifigures. People in the comments don't roast me for that. Or crappy minifigures. Lego PR team, I'm sorry. Look, um, we can still well, work up something out. No, CMF is a is a good acronym because it covers all the bases. Crazy. So who did we order this from? We ordered this from Brick Vibe. He used to be on Bricklink, but now he has his own store at BrickVibe.com. He may still be on uh, on Bricklink. I didn't check, but every series he will uh, collect all the items for you, so you don't have to sift through the bins and buy duplicates. Yes. And you pay a little bit of a premium. Yeah. This was. Uh, 75 bucks with the five dollar coupon yeah, for 12 yeah. of them all 12 because we got all 12 um let's unbox these and i'm gonna do a time lapse of all of this and then we'll show you everything but we're gonna open up the first one with you guys in real time in real time so here we go here's the packaging beautiful packaging in my opinion i love uh cmf and collecting them there's a few uh a few good guy or a few good minifigures in here but there's a few bad ones as well but still lego pr team we love you okay anyway let's get this open in real time and then the rest will be time lapse clean what cut. cutting tool are you using today young joshua First of all, like i always use Made, well, it, out here. made in the USA. I don't remember what model that is, but I like it. Who cares? My birthday's coming up. All right. Notice he totally ignores that hint. What am I supposed to do? I don't have a job. How am I supposed to get money? Now, the only way that we're going to be able to get a job is if you guys get us to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. Then we can get monetized. Then I can get him a birthday present. But if you don't subscribe, I mean, it's not really accomplishable. <laughs> So, you know, go ahead and subscribe. We'll get him a birthday present. Yeah, sooner than later. All right. This one would be the alien space hunter or spaceman or something like that. He's pretty cool. Unique molding and everything. We'll get a picture of him right now. Oh, this guy's actually pretty cool. Oh, my God. Side and arm printing. Ooh. It's Brick Mania quality. Brick Mania. Lego's going downtown, brother. <laughs> Minifigure, uh, this is what I'm gonna call Castaway Guy. It's what Ryan called it. Well, if so. Ryan calls it, then we gotta call it. Anyway, you get a, uh, a little, uh, paper letter in a bottle thingy. You get this awesome, awesome print side printing right there. If he's a Castaway, where'd awesome. you get that ice cream from? It, I think it's this, like, clam kind of thing, shell. So. Alright, so this is Ladybug Girl, or woman, or... Ladybug it. I, I'm not really sure. Yeah, but, this would uh, be under CMF for sure. Crappy minifigure? Yes. Crappy mini It's I, all I can right. respect the, it's uh, all the, right. the printing and everything and the cape kind of thing they got going. But it's definitely uh, definitely not one of my favorites. Yeah. Well, you gotta give them an A for effort. A for effort. All right, so next up we got the violinist, but other people that are not of his dialect as me and you say fiddle-ist. 
Fiddler. Fiddler. Um, anyway, if anybody gets this reference, this looks like a little boy um, that's Cole from the Ninjago series, like the face they used and everything. I don't know if that was intentional by Lego, but... They repurposed Cole? No, in the Ninjago TV show, there was a character named Cole, and they showed a flashback of him as a kid, and it kind of looks like this. Right. Just with a black sweater, though. Yeah. It looks like kind of like that. I don't know. If anybody uh, knows what I'm talking about, like the video. I like that smirk on his face. He has a smirk? Yes, he's got something going on. Anyway. It's, looks like we got a California girl, California dreaming. Or Florida. Yeah. And or uh, Alabama. She, she's got a little friend, doesn't she? Yes. Orca the killer whale. Yes, uh, a very cool whale indeed. So there it is. She's got uh, a yeah a, a board and a paddle and everything you could want. Uh, awesome, awesome printed detail everywhere. I awesome think, detail everywhere. I think Lego is definitely up their game on this series. They're costing more, and you get less of them, but they really have gone the extra mile in adding additional detail. All right, so next up on my list is one of my favorites, um, for the sole reason that he has a gun. <laughs> and, you know, it's just a really cool, uh, has that police logo kind of thing going. What's that kind it's of a, a General Grievous thing he's got going in the back there with extra arms? What the, is all that? handcuff, and then you got your gun. Those are some big honking handcuffs, dude. That's the normal size, I believe. Really? Of Lego, yeah. Alright, next up we got uh, the pug. Uh, Shout out to Connor Pugs. Link in the description. No, I'm kidding. There, there is no link. Um, but, yes. Dogman. Uh, I like the little three black dots on his feet. I have to give him... That's pretty yeah, cool. That's awesome. It was like his paws. Yeah. Yeah. Next up is the first guy we looked at, which I think is very, very cool. Um, it's just, you know, a space alien. It's pretty cool. Adds to my collection. Could be in a Star Wars mock or something like that. Part of the mining guild. I don't know. Really cool minifigure, though, in my opinion. Alright, so this guy is actually pretty cool. He's got a honeycomb, and he's got that little canister spray thing. But the coolest thing about this guy is his hat and glasses kind of apparatus. Uh, just a really, really cool uh, minifigure. Not too much detail on this guy, but just still, you get the story, you get the message, and it's cool. This one's actually pretty cool, the unique uh, flower on her head, and I like that you can kind of get her, like, that stand that's, uh, you know, playing music. I like she's singing into it. I think that's a really, really cool um, way, and then also the the cape is cool. It's not a cape. I mean, the As you pointed skirt, out to me. The skirt slash cape. I thought it, it was is. a cape. Whatever it is, it's very, very cool, and even though this might not be my type of minifigure, I still like it, and it's a nice thing to add to the collection. Um, not so much to say about this minifigure, he got some awesome torso printing, other than that, the plane is pretty cool, other than that, nothing else to say. Alright, so this one's a pretty cool, unique minifigure, got some awesome, like, cuffs there, got a new molded, uh, horse tail thing, and you also got the quiver right there, just an all-round well figure, in my opinion, kind of fantasy vibes I'm getting there, but, uh, yeah. Mm. I mean, I wish... I wish they included a full horse and a separate minifigure, so we could get like an orange horse out of this, but whatever, Lego. Lastly, but certainly not least, the Mayan warrior. Holy crap. This guy is cool. Just packed with detail. Good colors. And mud and grime and paint. And a chainsaw. And I didn't know they stuff. had those back in. Uh, I think it's more of a club, that kind of sword club they used to have in North America. And remind you guys, he went to college and then three years of law school after this. Yes, he got into the last year because he did some pulled some strings and did some stuff and might have been friends with <laughs> the, <laughs> the people that ran the school. But might have not and maybe just worked hard. Anyway, the point is he went to school for seven years, and he says there's a chainsaw, but we're back. Yep, anyway. Anyway, very cool minifigure. I love this minifigure so much. Me too. All right, now for All right, anyway, here uh, the, uh, the hero shot, we're going to call it. Let's flip this just around a little bit. Look at that. This is the whole series right here, folks whole series 
right here. What do you think? What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? Um, you know, they're all unique in their own special way. I guess my favorite is a Mayan warrior. I really like the colors yes. on the warrior. And my least favorite is probably man bear pig or <laughs> dog boy or whatever. It's just a little bit much. But uh, the castaway and the, the Mayan warrior more than make up for it. I honestly like those two the best, which is what Dave's too. And I also like the space alien guy and the space police guy. After that, I like the the horse. I like the violinist because you get that violin piece. Then I probably like the surfer actually because you yeah. get some cool, unique pieces with her. Then honestly, the singer. I really like how you can pose the singer and you know just really be cool. Um. So yeah, that's all I have to say. All right, so I guess we've said everything that needs to be said. Yep. Series twenty one. It's out now. And uh, we we don't mind paying a little bit extra just to get all twelve. To save of them. money, because honestly, we'd save money if we yeah. tried to feel. Sometimes at the Lego store, if they're not too busy and the folks are nice, they'll go through and feel each package for you. But uh, yeah, yeah. So there you have it. All right. There you have it. Well, time to say goodbye. Our team, we're final. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right.